Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK, where we're inspired by different cuisines to make burgers from around the world. So welcome along to our first episode of our new feature, Burgers Around the World. Today we're staying home at England, obviously if you're from the UK, and we're going to be doing a full English breakfast burger. It's big, it's ostentatious, but it's a good laugh and I've already eaten it and I know just how good it's going to taste. So we start off with this burger by making a stuffed patty. So we've got a burger ring. So this is just a large cookie cutter where I put minced uh, beef in the bottom. So this is 80-20 minced beef in the bottom. And then I build up around the edges of that cookie cutter so that it's got like a well in the middle. So into that well, I'm going to add baked beans. So baked beans are a massive staple in a fry up in the UK. So these are going to become the filling in what is basically a juicy Lucy burger. So once we've got the beans in there, we're then going to be putting more minced beef on the top to seal that. We then slide the burger ring off the top of it and make sure that it's nicely formed and sealed just by using our hands, gently squeezing and pushing down to make a nicely formed burger. But before we can cook it, we need to get it into the fridge for a little while and that's just gonna help set that burger so it's gonna hold that shape while we're cooking it. So we get that into the fridge and let that sit in there for at least 20 minutes. So while that's sitting in there, we're gonna get our next uh, burger patty made. So this is gonna be sausages. So I've got two Cumberland sausages. I just run a knife down, take the skin out, off, sorry, and then we're going to form that into a ball in our hands and then we'll push it out on some grease proof paper to make a patty that is just bigger than our burger buns. So I'm using the Audi Kamado to cook this burger today and we're going to set that up by putting our charcoal on the bottom, lighting a couple of woodies and let that come up to temperature nice and slowly. So once that temperature is starting to come up, we're going to get our grill grate in and we're going to be using a plancher to cook on today. So we're going to get that on quite early because when I start cooking this burger, I want a sort of a medium heat on that plancher rather than a big searing hot one. This burger is so thick, it's going to take some time to cook. So the barbecue is sitting at about 150. I've put that uh, plancher on there and we're just going to get our burger on top of there and just let it sit for a few minutes. And once that's sat for a few minutes, we're still only talking 150 sort of degrees C as the barbecue is coming up to temperature. We're going to get some oil on the other side and we're going to start frying off some mushrooms. These are quite easy to cook off early, wrap in a piece of tin foil and take off and they'll still be warm when we want to add them to the burger later. So at this point, we're still cooking with the lid shut. So we're trapping that heat in there in order to help cook this burger. So after a few minutes, We'll go in, we'll flip our mushrooms over, we'll get them cooking nicely, and then once they're cooked, we're gonna take them off, and we've still been keeping the lid down while we've been cooking them. So once we take them off, we're now gonna go on with our next lot of ingredients. We're gonna be going on with our bacon, and our black pudding, and our sausage patty. So we get them around, and they're not gonna take very long to cook. Open the vents up a little bit more, because we wanna start getting the temperatures up, so we've opened the vents up, we're taking it up to around 200, 250 now. So this hot plate is a lot hotter than what it was when we first put the barbecue on. So we're gonna flip our burger over and we've got a nice sear on that burger. Now, part of that is just from the heat of the plant chart. The other part of that is that the juice out of these baked beans, it finds its way through the cracks of the burger and then that's sat there and caramelized so it gives a nice different flavour dimension. So the bacon I'm using today is back bacon and the trick to keeping back bacon flat when you're cooking it on a flat top like this is if you put little cuts into the uh, fat on the top edge, it doesn't curl up so much, so that keeps it flat while you're cooking on a plancher. So these are cooking away, we're gonna get them flipped. Once they're cooked and it's time to take them off, we're going to flip our burger again and we'll start checking for a temperature. So the outer temperature of the burger we obviously want up to around 70 to 74 degrees. The inner temperature where your baked beans are 
that can sit at around 50 to 60. So you want to be using um, your instant read thermometer at different points around just to make sure that you are cooked. You've cooked your meat all the way through, but you don't need your beans up to a super searing temperature. So our burgers hit 72 degrees, so it's time to start getting our cheese on and start toasting our bun. So I'm using a brioche bun today. I've put a little bit of butter on there just to get a nice toast. And I'll be using plastic burger cheese on top of the patty. So I've got one that goes on top of the uh, Juicy Lucy and one that goes on top of the sausage patty. I'm just going to keep the lid shut, let them melt down and let them buns toast off. So now that that cheese is melted and our buns are toasted, we're going to get them off. And we've got one last thing left to cook. So a full English wouldn't be a full English without a fried egg. So scrape your plancher off. Get any of the fat, your sticky fat that you get from bacon and things like that. Just get that scraped off. A little bit of oil on there. Crack an egg. Then we're going to let that cook while we start building our burger. So onto our bottom bun. First thing we're going to be putting on is our stuffed burger. So we'll pop that on. On top of that. I'm putting the bacon then I'm going black pudding and then I'm going my sausage patty with the nice cheesy top on the top of that and that's where we're going to put our mushrooms that cheese is going to help stick the mushrooms in place so that they don't slip out of the burger so now comes your choice of sauce so I'm just going with a nice barbecue sauce on there Get a nice little covering bit of sprinkling on there and then we're going to take our egg off once it's cooked and layer that on the top so as you can see this is quite a tall burger now, so it's a little bit rickety. I'm going to take you in a bit closer, and we're going to go for that money shot of the egg pop, and hopefully it's going to come out okay. So go in with a knife, little pop, and it doesn't run the way I wanted it to. I wanted it to run all the way down the side of the burger, and it didn't. It kind of just went in, which is a little bit disappointing, but at the end of the day, that's the way it is. So now we can get our crown on the top, our top bun on, and we're going to cut it open, which isn't going to be an easy thing to do because of the height of this and all them uneven uh, bits in there. So we'll slice through with a knife, open it up, and you can see them beans inside that burger. And I think that that is going to work really well. And as you can see, it is a little bit topply and that one side has fallen over so I, I include everything in my videos if something goes wrong like that and it falls over then I'm not going to lie to you and say that everything went perfect because life's not perfect so we scoop it back up everything's clean out here anyway so it's all good did you know that the full English breakfast dates back to the 1300s with the Anglo-Saxons so they would use this as a position of wealth. So the wealthy people would show their wealth by cooking lots of different things for a big breakfast. And it would be used as hospitality when they had people around and they were going out on big hunts. So a nice big meal in the morning would be ideal and you wouldn't have to be popping back and eating more at lunchtime. So they cooked a variety of different things, but it wasn't until the 1900s that what we call a full English breakfast now really came into its own. So you're talking your egg, your sausage, your bacon, beans, tomatoes, which I know I haven't got in this because I'm not a massive fan of them. But full English breakfasts are also regional. So we say full English, but it is a UK thing. So Ireland use things like uh, white pudding and uh, soda bread and potato cakes and things like that. The Scottish white might put haggis in with theirs. And then there's also the controversial hash brown which there's a massive controversy when you, you start researching things like this. Some people say it belongs, some people say it doesn't. So I've not put it in because I don't want to offend any other English, full English breakfast enthusiasts. I must be absolutely mad trying to eat this on camera because it is huge. It's the most ostentation thing I've ever made. I don't even know where to start. Certainly not the cleanest thing to eat. So that to me is everything that a full English needs to have. Uh, the only thing I could have added was tin tomatoes, but I'm not a massive lover of those. That's why I go for beans. And 
that's probably going to be the big debate in this as to whether you should use beans or whether you should, you should use tin tomatoes. So leave me a comment underneath and tell me whether you're a beans person or whether you're a tin tomatoes person. As for this, I'm absolutely in love and I'm definitely, definitely going to cook these again. Uh, maybe not quite so many layers in there, but I do like that burger stuffed with them baked beans. That works really well. i um, got some other ideas going around in my head now after trying that. So if you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life UK and you do like big, bold burgers, which is what this new series is going to be about, then do make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any more. Make sure you like the video and leave me a comment let you know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out my other AK cooks over here and subscribe over here. Cheers.